Sunday, and while families everywhere are getting ready to celebrate the women in their lives who mother them, there are girls grief stricken every year this time, Mother's Day marking the loss of their own moms. WGN's Julie Unruh introduces you to a group organized specifically to help these young girls cope. Julie. You know, so many of us forget what a difficult time this really can be as we're all celebrating. It started with a Boston area woman who lost her own mom to cancer. She was only nine. Her feeling of isolation so great that as a grown woman, she decided she needed to help others. Well, today, hundreds of girls who feel the same way taking part in Empower Her. For 17 years, I did not know one other girl that had lost her mom. I felt like I was going through the world alone. It's one of those things when you lose your mom at a young age, it, it, it seems like everybody knows, but nobody actually wants to talk to you about it. Allie Thomas is grown up now, but the Glen Ellen resident remembers all too well what losing her mom, Doreen, was like. Allie was just 17. My mom was diagnosed with lung cancer uh, when I was 14 years old. Here they are in happier times together. After her mother died, isolation set in. Her good friend Kara lost her mom as a young girl too. So in 2013, Kara started Empower Her. Empower Her is really considered a pioneer in children's bereavement. Kara lost her mom when she was nine years old uh, from breast cancer and really just felt very alone in her grief. And later in life, she decided I, I want to change that. I would have no idea at your age that there were this many people out there that were going through the same thing. Any girl up to 24 years of age can sign up. Before the pandemic, year-round events used to connect girls in the same situation, motherless and feeling lost or alone. Hiking, they are uh, cooking classes, uh, actors workshops, yoga, all sorts of little kind of retreats to get these girls together, to be in the same room together, be able to look across a room and say, you know what, I understand you. For a year, events have been virtual and mentorship programs are too. Women who lost their moms as kids are working one-on-one -on -one with young girls now faced with the same reality. Once a week text to say, just checking in, uh, making sure you're okay. It can be having dinner every Sunday night at their mentor's house. But as May 9th fast approaches, Allie Thomas reminds us all the healing process is often halted this time every year. In a girl's life who's lost their mom, these weeks leading up to Mother's Day are very, you know, it's just a tough time. So Empower Her is focusing on some bright spots right now, tangible ones, even during a pandemic. The organization committed to doing more to help, not less. It's expanded to 10 cities across the United States. Loss is survivable. You can hold both grief and joy. Empower Her also, for the first time, started a campaign. This is my mom's bag. A $25 donation for a loved one will help light the way toward healing this Mother's Day. I participated this year too, in memory of my sister Elizabeth, who died a young mother herself. The thought is to just let's light up the lake. Let's illuminate the lake. This year, Allie Thomas will be floating them along a lake in suburban Glen Ellen. Luminaria is, it's a whimsical display of personalized bags honoring and um, memorializing our moms. Those bags can be in honor, as we said, of a loved one who is still with us today or in memory of those mothers we've loved and lost. Head to our website for more information on Empower Her and where you can find ways to get involved, get help for young girls that you know, get more on the 10 cities now involved getting ready to light up the night this weekend. Really an, a, a great way to tie this with a bow for so many people, it, it, it almost sounded in some cases where the girls would have these events to go to to get away from the difficulty right. of those conversations over Mother's Day. You know, the virtual sense and all that has changed that. Yeah, and it hasn't made it quite true. as easy, but the events continue and those girls are getting support, which is wow. so great. Exactly. Thank you, Julie. You bet.